Hey everyone, it's Zach Wright, founder and CEO of Grapevine Software. We are back at it with our next feature highlight, which we're going to be talking about the community news feed, also known as company news feed or company community news feed, depending on how you want to go about it. But as always, we want to start with what is the reason and why did we choose to take this approach in Grapevine for our customers? So right now I want to talk about the importance of having a place to engage your employees, especially for your distributed team. You would be surprised or maybe not surprised how many times I speak to employees or I speak to founders of an organization or HR and not everyone knows everyone. And these are even small companies, 50 to 250 employees is where we focus on right now. And so that is just, it's saddening to me because you're missing a lot of opportunities, but let's look at what we're missing with the call outs of the percentages here. So according to Gallup, highly engaged teams show 21% greater profitability. Now, a lot of people out there talk about that we need to get our employees more productive, we need to make them more efficient, more engaged. Well, you have a tool within Grapevine that can allow you to do that, especially for distributed teams, right? Because that's gonna be a little bit harder, but it's not impossible, and we're making it easier than ever with Grapevine. So that's 21% to think about. Everybody can use profitability. Then let's look at this next one, a Harvard Business review study reported that employees in distributed teams are often less connected, but virtual platforms with social features like a news feed, cough, cough, grapevine, can increase the sense of belonging and improve communication by 25%. Now, what a lot of people don't put together or connect the dots on is whenever you're working on improving your communication as a team and as a company, it's not just the communication and the collaboration that you're working on on a project, it has to encapsulate all of it. And so the best way to have the best outcomes with communication and collaboration is to connect people on a deeper level, more so than just the work that they're trying to do. That means that people are gonna be willing to step up and help others or they're gonna know who to go to whenever a problem or an issue or something that they're trying to solve and they have a roadblock on, they're gonna know who to communicate to. So that is important here. But let's also look at some other details on why a community newsfeed is so important. For distributed teams, we talked about this, they feel less connected and what is the result of employees feeling less connected to a company and their, their, their team is turnover. Turnover is a costly, costly, costly issue whenever it comes to organizations. I think that there is something out there where it's the replacement of an employee costs about 50% of their salary. So take your turnover rate, calculate their salary, get the total, and then divide it by two. And that's what you're putting on the table here with disconnected teams and employees. So think about that. Now, con contradictory to what we just said is employees who receive recognition are five times more likely to stay at a company. And we bring up recognition because in the community, this is where you can, or the community newsfeed, this is where you can celebrate wins. This is where you can share important information and call out and recognize your employees for the great work that they're doing. And it's just that simple. It doesn't have to be huge. We are gonna improve this over time, but this is a great way for you to engage your employees. Now, the other part right here is onboarding distributed teams requires a sense of belonging because you can see the trend here. It's all about that disconnection, especially for distributed teams. You have to be more methodical, you have to be more strategic, and you have to be more intentional whenever it comes to ensuring that your teams are connected and feeling like they belong. And so I'll show you in a second, whenever we share our screen and go to Grapevine, inside of Grapevine, I'll show you how you can create a sense of belonging immediately as you share that person 
to the organization as a new employee. All right, the last one here is a place to replace the water cooler with an asynchronous touch. Not everyone is working at the same time in the same place in the same hours as we once were right and even then we were distributed i used to work at one of the largest it staffing firms and we had our own team that worked within its own silo and we were connected to the charlotte office and so we would connect with people who worked in charlotte but we actually wouldn't work together and so we did communicate in the water cooler but it never really amounted to anything because we weren't actually connecting and so what we're creating here is a platform that replaces the water cooler but it also gives an element of asynchronous so you don't have to share this in real time and you can still have employees connecting and understanding who each other is because of our uh community news feed also our employee profiles so on and so forth but now let's dig into the differences here i'm just going to move me down just a bit so we can see that the differences here is this is the traditional approach and even a little bit of the modern approach. I think that we're the future approach, but this is the traditional and let's say modern approach right now. So somebody might share an update or a win like you want to deal in Slack and people lose it minutes later because that thread is continuously going. Now, on the flip side, I'm just going to do these side by side on the flip side. In Grapevine, whenever you share an update or a win, you can find it easily, not only because people are going to be commenting, but the main thing that you're sharing is still at the top, but you can also search for it later. And I'll give you an example whenever we dive into Grapevine platform here in a moment. Now, the other traditional part is introduce new employees via email with zero response or responding directly to the employee or responding all but you only get like one or two how does that make you feel as an employee you don't actually feel great you don't feel connected you don't feel like you're a part of the team it's just it's just not a good look even in slack if you share it in slack people might only put an emoji or whatever the case is in grapevine you introduce a new employee and you celebrate in the comments. And this leads into the second bullet point or the third bullet point as well is on the traditional approach. You have no way of knowing who this person is beyond the announcement. So you might share it on email or Slack. And then you go to dig into them by looking at their profile in Slack. And the only thing that you really find out is that this is what they look like. If they added a picture, this is what their title is and this is their email maybe their number that's about it with grapevine you can explore new employee profiles and get to know them instantly again i'll show you that here in a moment and then the last part is pretty key for distributed workforces but really anybody working is that whenever you celebrate or announce someone you're bombarded with notifications after sending that message. And just imagine if I was deep in work and I started seeing the Slack bot or the Slack messaging just pop off with notifications, 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 same thing for MS Teams, right? Well, that distracts me. I go in there, I look at it and I'm like, okay, that's great. I could have looked at this a little bit later. Well, in Grapevine, what you do is you receive email summaries instead of being bombarded with notifications. Now, some people can look at that as a positive, some people might look at that as a negative, but whenever it comes to our platform and you're sharing information like this, it's not something that you necessarily have to react to immediately, but you will definitely see what's going on in the company every single day, twice a day through the email summaries. And that means that you can allow your employees to have deeper work without being so distracted through notifications. All right. Let's go ahead and share and enter Grapevine's virtual office and navigate to the community newsfeed so we can break down everything that we just said and show you how you can use it for your team. All right, we are in Grapevine's virtual office platform. Now, if you're not familiar with these feature highlights, this is our company's social internet homepage. 
this is where a lot of those email summaries are going to take place because you're going to have executive news feed, announcements, upcoming company events, and social media posts. But we are here to talk about the company or community news feed. So let's go ahead and navigate over here to the community tab. And you can see how familiar this looks, right? It looks a lot like LinkedIn. It looks a lot like Facebook. So every single employee is going to understand how to use Grapevine right off the bat or the majority of it. And it's very easy to learn if they don't. But let's just look at what's in here. So from the internet, the homepage, we have the recent updates or announcements coming through here. So everybody stays aligned. And then we have the upcoming company events. And then we have the connect with your coworkers. Eventually we'll have something called Grapevine Spaces over here and you'll be able to explore those. But let's look at what we talked about. So we mentioned that you can share important information here. You can celebrate quick wins. You can share the newest team member, um, I had to change this to Steve Jobs, but I'll show you one of the things that I really like about this approach is, so if we go here and let's say, hi team, please help me welcome our newest team member, Steve Jobs. We give a little bit of a brief here. He joined us today as our chief marketing officer. Welcome aboard. We're excited to have you here. Now, this is the part that you would get in Slack right you can mention them you can share a little bit of details here you could even add a photo if you wanted to most people don't from my experience but this is already humanizing the person when is the last time that you've seen steve jobs with his kids right well obviously not now but you get what my point is and then you come in here and people can say welcome to the team steve excited to partner with you and you have a beautiful family so now we're already connected we're engaged but let's take it a step further since I tagged him here and we use Grapevine to share that information, now I can click on Steve Jobs and it takes me to his profile, right? So we have the image up here, we have his uh, headline, we have his little description here, we have in office, out of office, let's say that he is in the office or he's out of the office, so he's gray right now. Then you have some basic details here. You can see where he's located, where his country is, how long he's worked here, his employee ID, all that kind of stuff. But then you also get the personal element. So let's say that we wanna watch his introduction video. So now we can watch this introduction video. The other thing is, is that we can take it over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I think I've done this last time, but basically it's a picture in picture where like I'm moving around here, you can see his over here where the cursor is. I'm not sure if you're able to see that. But then you come in here, you get to see his, his hobbies, right? And then if you wanna dig in just a little bit deeper, you can go in here and see the images that he's posted. And now you get to know who he is just a little bit better. And then you can see, if I move myself over again, you can see his previous experience. And all this is searchable. So I can search Pixar, I can search Next, I can search Apple Incorporated, I can search Reading, Meditating, design, tech investments, great, uh, graphic designs, all that kind of stuff in the employee directory. Okay, so let's say that I like tech investments and he likes tech investments. So what I wanna do, there's a couple of different ways that you could go about this. Let's say I wanna search people and then I'm just gonna type in Steve Jobs. So there's two, but I know that it's this one because it's got his face on there. So I'm gonna just click here and then I'm gonna say, hi Steve, welcome aboard. I noticed you like tech investments. Let's chat sometime. And then you just send this over to him. You see it goes to Steve Jobs. You can see that it's right here and then he'll respond and then we can set up a chat or we can go to the employee directory. I can find him down here and I can actually um, just use this and it will take you to an instant meet. So let's go back to the community though, because I want to show you the other elements that you can do here. So you can say, you can share the new employee again right here. You can share a quick win. You can give shout outs to the people who helped that win happen. Come in here and comment, like, whatever the case is. Very simple. You can give employee shout outs. Um, but then this one, this one is another workflow that you can use too. So if you're sharing it to the entire community and you want everybody to to see it 
you can share it right here. So hi community, I wanted to share the latest Canva uh, templates for employee profile banners. Everyone access the link here. So if I click the link, it's gonna take me to what I was sharing. Let's give that a moment just to pop up on the screen. And then what I can also do is shout out the people who helped us get there. I can share the image so they know what they're looking at. But then I can also give them a call to action if they wanted to. So if I wanted to, I could take this, right? I go in here and instead of people, let me go to files and then I can go in here and I can say grapevine temp templates and then I can just save it right here. Now, I have it in my saved document. So now I can go here. It, let's say that this was 19 minutes ago, but let's say that it says it was two months ago. I can come in here and say, even if I don't want it, the, if I didn't want the saved one, I can come in here. And I can say, okay, there's that boom. I can get it right there. Or I can go right here. Or if we look here, we can see search and find it in the company resources section under human resources. So I'll go over here. And then once I get into the company resources, you can see that it's right here. I click it and then I'm back there. And then from there, if I wanted to share it with the customers, like they asked me to, then I can do that. All right. So let me just go back here. That is the community news feed. Again, it's gonna replace the water cooler, but it's also a way that you can share important information, celebrate wins, and create a more engaged workforce, especially in a distributed environment. Hope you enjoyed this feature highlight of the company community newsfeed. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, but we will see you on the next feature highlight.